Alright guys, uh, today I'm going to be talking about capture cards or capture devices to record gameplay or record anything you want to see on TV onto your computer. And uh, there's, a, there's a couple of uh, capture cards out there that are pretty good and uh, then you have the, the popular ones like the Hapaj or however you pronounce it. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then you have your Black Magic. This is uh, the Black Magic uh, Shuttle, Black Magic Intensity Shuttle, which is a USB 3.0. And uh, there's also the internal PCI Express. I think it's Express card or just PCI. It, they're both the same thing, basically. And these are for. Uh, this is the Windows version. There is one for the Mac, which is. Uh, I believe uh, 300 and both of these are the same price they're 200 bucks around 200 bucks and now we're gonna talk about which one's best for you and because uh, I know there's a lot of uh, people out there wondering which card should they get well we're just gonna call them cards for now capture cards alright well let's start off with the Habaj Hapage, Hapage, whatever you, however you pronounce it, you know, whatever, okay, this is USB 2.0 or, or whatever, you can use it with any computer that has a USB pretty much, it has your, your S-Video on the front, your regular RCA as well, and then you have your high definition component in the back, your in and out, you also have uh, optic audio in and out, and then you have your your blaster that's for your remote control so when you want to record uh, TV episodes or whatever and uh, you can see the size compared to the the Blackmagic shuttle it's almost it's like one third to a half it's like half the size I'm not sure how well you can see that on the camera but uh, this records in 720p supposedly it does I always record at 13.5 megabits a second, which I don't know if that's compressed or uncompressed. I highly doubt it's uncompressed, and I'll tell y'all why in a moment. Let's move that out of the way. All right, now you got your Black Magic intensity. This card is very difficult. If you don't know what you're, very difficult to install. If you don't know what you're doing. And, and if you don't know what kind of computer you got, do, don't even buy this. Don't waste your time. Just go ahead and get this 720, 720p. You'll be happy with it. All right. Now, if you want to do uh, recording from HDMI, that's the only reason I got this is to record from HDMI and not component. But I ran into a couple problems, and I'm gonna tell you all my computer specs and everything. All right. My computer specs are, I have a Core i7-950, Intel obviously, a uh, Asus Sabertooth X58 motherboard, 12 gigabytes of uh, Corsair Vengeance memory, and um, a Asus 560 GTX Ti video card. And uh, I'll tell you all about the hard drives in a bit. Okay, for this card, they don't tell you that you need to have a RAID set up for your hard drives. So whenever you buy this, you think you're good to go. Just connect it to USB 3.0 and you're good to go. No, that's not the case. If you do that, it's not going to work. And you also have to upgrade your BIOS, or update your BIOS, update the RAID, con RAID controller, update the... USB drivers to the latest one obviously you gotta do a lot of updating basically or this card will not, will not work at all and now we go to the, the RAID setup you have to have three you can do two I have two I'm running on two but they recommend three to five if you want to do uncompressed 10-bit video I'm I'm running two hard drives right now and I'll tell y'all 
which hard drives I have. I have the Western Digital Caviar Black 64 megabyte cache and uh, one terabyte each. And the uh, speed on them is uh, six gigabyte speed for the Zeta. And that's that's running right now. A little, you know, it flickers a little bit, and I'll show y'all what I mean by flicker in the next video. I'm gonna do uh, comparisons on the video on gameplay and how they look compared to each other. This is just like the the you know the rundown, the noobs rundown. You know, I'm not an expert on these video compressions and uncompressions. I just know what I've dealt with with customer service and all that, and having this for about a year with no problems okay well this one has your HDMI in and out that's what I like about it that's the reason I bought it has your components has your S video can do 1080i it doesn't do 1080p because that would you would need a very awesome computer which I don't have I'm I'm in the mid mid tier computers so in order to use this card, you need a RAID 0 setup with three or more hard drives. I'm using two at the moment, which I'm doing good right now. But if you want to get like that 10-bit uncompressed, you're going to need more hard drives. That's what they don't tell you when you buy this card. Now this, I was running a, a crappy, crap, crappy hard drive, you know, I bought like two years ago. No problems. The video looked good. You know, 720p supposedly. I'm I'm highly, I'm very sure it's compressed. But you know, MP4, MP4 compressed, whatever. I don't know if it's compressed or not compressed. I'm not an expert. You know, I'm just telling you because this card needs like three or four hard drives to work properly. This you can just run right out of the box. You know, 10 minutes or less to set this up. This like a day. So, check out the next video. I'm going to do some video gameplay comparisons so y'all can check out the different qualities. And, uh, alright, thanks for watching. You have, have, if you guys have any questions, you know, maybe something I didn't cover, uh, hit me back and I'll be replying to y'all. Alright, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, like, hate. It's all good. Peace.